Hey everyone, this is Lasora, and in this video, we're going to be learning how to do this using Final Cut Pro 10. Let's get started. Let's start off with expanding the workspace by pressing Command and the plus sign on your keyboard. Go to the end of your first clip and find a place you wish the transition to begin. Once you've got that, go ahead and slice the clip using the blade tool by pressing Command and then B on your keyboard. Go to the beginning of your second clip, find a place you wish the transition to end, and then slice the clip once again. Moving on, let's go ahead and bring out the Affix browser by clicking this icon. Go down to the search bar and then type in Pixelate. Select and drag that onto the end portion of your first clip. Next step, head over to the Video Inspector. Under Pixelate, go ahead and add a keyframe. Go to the next frame by pressing the right arrow key on your keyboard and keep increasing the amount of pixelation until you reach the end of your first clip. Now that's done, let's select the first portion of the second clip. Head back to the Fix browser and double click on the pixelation effect. Now that's done, head over to the video inspector under Pixelate, increase the amount to 100 by sliding this knob all the way to the right. Now let's add a keyframe. Decrease the amount of pixelation frame by frame by simply using the right arrow key on your keyboard. Keep doing this until you reach the end of the first portion of your second clip. So here's the result for now. This is absolutely optional, but what you could do here is also add some RGB effect to the pixelation. Simply head back to the effects browser, go to the search bar and then type in prism. Double click on it or just drag and drop it onto your selected end portion of your first clip. And also do the same thing for the second bit. Last but not least, select these two portions of the clips, head back to the effects browser search bar and then type in sharpen. Double click on that. In the video inspector, under sharpen, set the amount to about 8. Now that's all done, let's see what the result looks like. So that's it for today's video everybody. Thank you so much for watching, but more importantly, for the incredible amount of support I've been getting lately, it is truly appreciated. Thank you so much. If you're new here, please consider subscribing for more short Final Cut Pro tutorials like this one. Good luck with your project, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!